Hello everyone, this video walks through completing packet tracer assignment 7.2.1.7 Configuring Name Standard Access Control List for IP version 4. This packet tracer assignment is part of the Routing and Switching Essentials Cisco Network and Academy curriculum. Now in this particular lab assignment we're configuring standard ACLs again. Hopefully you've already went through the numbered standard ACL uh, packet tracer but now we're doing named standard. So the criteria are still the same as far as you can only set it <clears throat> to filter traffic based off of where the traffic is coming from if you're looking at it from source to destination so it's only the source inform uh, source information that we can filter by but this time instead of doing a number remember numbers 1 through 99 were fair game we're actually going to do a um, named one instead of numbered okay so we could name it anything we want usually something descriptive about what actually the ACL is doing <clears throat> all right so in this one all right let's go ahead and jump into it you probably want to write it out again we're still going to use the wildcard mask so just a quick refresher a wildcard mask for like a slash 24 which is 255.255.255.0 if you just put all 255s above it and subtract you get your wildcard same thing with like a 25 to, uh, slash 30 or a 252 okay we got 255 255 255 255 we put that all above our subnet mask and then subtract we get 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.3 for our wildcard okay and you can do that with any subnet mask just put all 255s above it you subtract your subnet mask from that and then you just get your wildcard so any way you want to look at that that's how you get your wildcard all right just a quick refresher there all right so we're still also going to make sure we apply this access control list because it's standard as close to the destination as possible okay so here we've got r1 we've only got one router here so we've only got one choice but it will be important in a minute because we got four different ports here that we have so some other things still apply as well as far as making sure um <clears throat> making sure that you you know put everything in the right order your access uh, control list as far as reading it from top to bottom all that stuff still applies so we're gonna go into configuration mode and we'll do IP access list this time last time we did access list and then the number deny permit or remark this time we actually have to start our command with IP access list standard instead of extended because you could put extended here but we're doing standard in this class and then you put whatever name you want it to be just make sure it's all one word so if you have like separate words make sure you put a dash in between them or an underscore here they have you put a underscore and it is case sensitive for the grading here okay and then you see your prompt sets change to config dash std standard dash nacl which is named acl okay now we're going to put just straight permit deny remark anytime so we're kind of like building a list up under here so that's the difference here okay so we'll just start out with permit deny remark so we're going to do permit host this is what we were talking about a while ago and then just put the specific ip address of that one computer so if we look here pc1 is 192.168.20.4 so we want to basically allow 192.168.20.4 traffic but then deny everything else because it has us put a deny any there now that deny any was technically already at the bottom anyway so we really didn't have to do that but basically what we're doing is saying we want to permit pc1 okay wherever we place this but then we want to deny everything else okay so what we're going to do is we're going to place this with the same command all right it says place it on the outbound interface of fa01 let's look at where fa01 is well it may not show us if we do that let's uh turn on our port labels there fa01 happens to be right here okay so let me turn that back off because it's a lot on the screen. <clears throat> so this one is FA01. OK, 
okay so fa01 happens to be this one right here that's where we're applying it okay so for that file server is basically allowing pc1 but it's denying everybody else so nobody else will have access to to get to that file server so we're going to apply it there so interface fa01 okay ip access group because remember that's our command and then instead of the the number like last time where we put one we'll put file server <coughs> restrictions and then in or out and it'll be going out because remember like last time if our traffic is flowing from here okay going up to r1 is it going to be going out to the server or into it's going to be going out of fa01 to the server okay so there we go all right now let's test that out and remember too you could do a show ip access list sorry put my dash in the wrong place there all right now <clears throat> if we look here we have our standard IP access list remember last time it had our number this one we just got our name and then you've still got your sequence numbers that just means how it's going to be read in order for that one list and you could have multiple lists on the same router as well but it says permit host so we're permitting just PC1 but denying everybody else. Now remember, even if we didn't write that in there, it was still going to be there because that deny any is always at the bottom, even if it's not here in your sequence numbers. Okay. Then as you save your configurations, so remember, copy, run, start. Now we want to verify to make sure that's working. So let's try to uh, ping from anybody else, right? So. The file server we get successful when we refire it. Let's try PC2 to the file server though. See, it says failed and it won't ever work and it shouldn't. Let's try PC0 because they're technically on the same network, PC0 and PC1. But <clears throat> remember, we didn't do the whole network, we just did that one PC. Now, everybody else still should be able to contact the web server. All right, see, that's successful. That's successful and PC1 should also still be able to contact the web server. So again, we just want to filter traffic going to the file server, not the web server. So that's why we applied the ACLs close to the destination here, so it wouldn't affect any other traffic, all right? So that gives us 100 out of 100 if you look down here. Um, <clears throat> again, the same things, we want to make sure that we only can filter based off of the source of where the packet is coming from we want to place it as close to the destination as possible okay of what we actually control because some that times that's a little relative um, but again here we only have one router so we want to make sure we place it on the interface as close to the destination which happens to be the file server 